It's a battle out west. Everybody knows about Gonzaga, and by now you should know about St. Mary's. It's the rematch, and it's for the WCC regular season crown. Hey, how are you, folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on CBSSports.com, breaking down some of the best college hoops every single week. St. Mary's beat Gonzaga at home earlier this year. They make the return trip Saturday night. And for more, we bring in Clark Kellogg from Columbus to break it down. And Clark, when you look at this matchup, what stands out at you as something that people should watch for? Both teams, terrific offensive teams, Jason. When you consider the first game went to overtime, St. Mary's was able to win it because they got more done inside. Won the free throw game handily and outscoring the Zags by about 16 from the foul line in that game. That was huge. This game in, um, in Spokane, I give the edge to Gonzaga simply because they'll do a better job containing the interior presence of um, St. Mary's, I think. You know, Gonzaga is certainly a team that likes to get up and down the floor. Uh, St. Mary's has got a great point guard as well that people may have heard about earlier on in the season with that win over Oregon. Now, in case you haven't, Patrick Mills. You got a great matchup with Jeremy Pargo and Patrick Mills in this game, Clark. Yeah, they went at it in the first meeting. Patty Mills got to the foul line an awful lot. Gonzaga wasn't really able to keep him out of the lane. Pargo was terrific as well. He had 27 points. He's an explosive physical guard. That matchup would be one to watch. But just as important, I think, is how Gonzaga defends Diamond Simpson. He's averaging a double-double and has had 12 double-doubles on the year. He's a very consistent and solid producer in the paint area. He runs the floor well. He rebounds both backboards. So Gonzaga's focus, to me, has to be one on containing the dribble, making sure dribble penetration is minimized, and then doing a good job at handling the paint area as well. Both these teams in the polls, Gonzaga 24, St. Mary's 25, has been in there pretty much all season. Gonzaga back in for the first time in nine weeks. Clark, when you look at this matchup, if St. Mary's is to pull the upset, they have to do one thing well. What is it? I think they've got to do a good job keeping Gonzaga out of transition making sure that they can get their half-court defense set up so that Gonzaga is not able to play a free-wheeling, fast-paced, free-flowing kind of game. So being able to transition defense is, is something that I think would be a key for St. Mary's. And it was certainly something key that would happen in the first game as well. The game takes place in Spokane, certainly a very tough uh, building to win. Not many people have done it since they opened it. Who do you like? I like Gonzaga. Payback time. They lost in overtime on the road. They've got, the, they've got St. Mary's at their place now. I like Gonzaga. All right, which means you also like Gonzaga to take home the uh, West Coast Conference title yet again during the regular season. Clark Kellogg, thank you very much, sir. We will see you Saturday afternoon on CBS. All right, my pleasure, Jason. Thanks. Folks, St. Mary's, Gonzaga, they tip it off Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. And for more on this game or any other throughout the weekend, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else all over the CBS Audience Network. For Special K, Clark Kellogg, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.